Hi everyone, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 19 and welcome to this video, swatching my entire nail polish collection, part two. Thank you so much for the love on the first video. I'm gonna change the camera angle quickly and we're gonna go through my entire nail polish collection, Helmer Draw 2, which is Indie Brands D to G. So let's jump right in. Here we are with a close-up of Draw 2 on the Helmers, which is, as I said, Indies D to F. So we'll go through, first of all, this is everything that did not need to be re-swatched. So there was a slightly smaller percentage in this collection. But let's go through all the brands to start with. Um, so we have Frenzy Polish down here. We have Enchanted Polish, uh, Femme Fatale, uh, Different Dimensions, Fair Maiden, Farbe Nostalgia, uh, ethereal we have dangle foot we have girly bits more dangle foot some dollish polish i do have a whole other drawer of dollish polish but this is the overflow uh, which is still quite a lot we then have more dangle foot more dangle foot more dangle foot um, emily de molly more fair maiden but just over this side we have more fair maiden we have glistening glow we have for your nails only uh freckles polish uh, dystopia polish that might be everything so maybe less variety actually in this box than in some of the others yeah that is everything i'm just going to sort this out slightly because i feel it's a bit chaotic uh, and then we'll start putting all the polishes back in okay that's slightly better but i'm very conscious this drawer is definitely going to be full once i put everything back in so the only one from this drawer that i needed to re-swatch from dollish polish is mouth breather and oh wow did i love re-swatching this i love this orangey red with super strong pink sh shimmer this is from one of the stranger things collections she did i think she did for series one two and three i want to say from the low label this might be one of the ones from the first series because then the, the label changed um, um, so yeah that one was beautiful I'm really happy to re-swatch that one from a girly bit and this is from her hella handmade creation series which was based on harry potter but it's called uh, for forks sake so obviously meant to be looking like a phoenix really really nice um burn red with gold holographic glitters and this goes lovely with all of the um girly bits which i wish you could see probably let me see if i can pull these out because these are just some of the most fun mixtures in my entire collection you look every single one is different color they are all so unique so different and i love that about girly bits so we'll do some more um international indie so we have femme fatale in both labels again old label versus new label so the older one is called land of treats and this was their 2016 color of the month just the most fun crelly mixture hopefully you can see there with this light baby pink base within uh pink purple uh orange light blue white um hexes circles with a little bit of shimmer running throughout it um, so 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 pretty so you live with your other set femme fatales and in the slightly newer bottle we have mermaid candy which is from polish pickup 2018 funny story i didn't actually order this one i got this one by accident um but i don't know if they st still now do it but um i just got to keep it and they really sent me out the correct one and it's just the most beautiful mermaidy but also confectionery mixture so that one was re-swatched i have a few from uh frenzy let's do those next um so tons of frenzy to be completely honest um i did love frenzy polish a lot they were one of the staple indies back in the day with these cute little foxes on their labels um i swatched for them once or twice as well but the majority of the ones that i've kept because i've de-stashed slightly over the years are ones from their fallout boy lyrics collections this one is called keep you like an oath which is this really nice like dove grey with pink um, glitter, blue glitter, silver holographic, white, a bit of a hodgepodge of everything in there. The other one is This Ain't A Scene, um, which is a lovely green with a gold mixture. We have Underneath Purple Skies, which is no surprise that it's a purple. And the purple here has got some gold shimmer, um, which tends to look a little bit green as well. Sometimes gold in like a blue base tends to do that. Um, one of my favourite ones ever, we will leave to the end because I thought Heavy Metal Broke My Heart. Now, originally I looked at my old swatch for this. I wore this as a topper, but you're going to see it worn completely by itself today. Um, you can just about get it there in three coats, but it also be really fun as a topper as well, either or at your preference. And then the last one from Fall Out Boy is Falling Apart to Half Time, which is this beautiful black, but then there's so much blue in it. And the black and blue together is actually a really, really fun mixture. And it's not 
often that you get black polishes where the colour pops through because the black is so black that then you lose the colour. But you can definitely see that blue coming through there. And one of my favourite frenzies of all time, which needed a re-swatch, is called Autumn Symphony. And this was the original polish that started my love affair with blue and bronze together. And you can see why. It's just so good. So I have many polishes that have come since then, which will be blue and bronze. But because this is one of my originals, I definitely can't part with it. And also, it was definitely do a re-swatch. I'm now starting to wonder whether I even have space to put the polishes back in at all. Because we're running out quite quickly. And I've also just seen two more girly bits. These are both actually also from the Harry Potter Hella Handmade Creation series. So we do have Patronus, um, which is a really nice light silver. It's one of those ones where it's just so soft and I guess it just truly looks like a Patronus. Soft but shimmery but glittery but metallic, like a little bit of everything. Um, squeeze these in. Um, and this one is gorgeous. And now my cat's going to enter, shout her way in to enter some attention. Are you going to come in so you can see everybody? There you are um so she's probably gonna cry the whole way through this video because she's an attention she just loves attention so i will stroke the cat and i will do this at the same time so a loss of innocence and this was hedwig's polish so it was a mixture of having the white owl mixture and then also having the Ivada cadaver green flash um that caused her untimely death so i love this mixture together it was one of my favorites of the year when i originally swatched this was 2019 uh loved the the minty base with the green shimmer with the little flakes in it um just so so beautiful let's squeeze her back in there there looks like there's just enough space for the final two polishes which makes me so happy so I do have two from um, Danglefoot now, Polish to Reswatch, which is our UK indie representative. I have a lot. This is all Danglefoot here. So I have quite a lot from Haley's brand over the years. It's definitely our longest running and longest serving. So the first one is, well, both of these are really old because the new bottles look like this. But this is the old bottle. So, but an, a really, really old one is um, Moon River. And this is really fun where it is a really nice light blue polish. And then there is a really nice, strong violet flash and also little flakes in there i really really love this collection i want to say this came out as some sort of exclusive or in a box of some kind but i've honestly had this polish probably almost 10 years a really really long time please let's just squeeze these all in here and then the other one is called ain't worth the whiskey which is a polish that she's brought out several several times you may still even be able to get this on the website i'm not sure it was part of her core range for a long time um, and it's a beautiful dark blue with the purple flash and then the silver holographic um particles in there as well i absolutely love this one i know sorry i know the cat's been very cute and distracting so i hope it hasn't just dis disturbed from the polishes too much but that is our final one and literally i complete i could probably get one more in there if i really moved everything around but although i did de-stash from this drawer we are completely full at d2g and there's going to need to be some reshuffling at the end of this but thank you so much for joining me on this part these angles are never flattering, of this part of the next swatch through my collection. Um, I, there's some things here that I need to show you, so pretend again that you can't see these. Um, the next drawer that we're going to be swatching through is actually GLs, so anything glitters, so like glitter lambs, glitter days, all of those, they are in the next drawer, and I have picked them all out here already, and it also features a lot of glam polish. So let me know what brands and polishes from this drawer you enjoyed, and I will see you back in March or April with drawer three of swatching through my entire nail polish collection.